So Jen Hall in, in 2000 was diagnosed with cancer and she had voted in favor of assisted suicide. So she wanted, uh, she, she supported the idea, she voted in favor of it, and it was a plebiscite that legalized it. She, didn't, she, she had cancer, she did not want radiation, she did not want to suffer, she wanted assisted suicide. She was given a six month to 12 month diagnosis of uh, how long she would likely live. So six months to a year, and so therefore, she basically qualified for assisted suicide, or within a period of short time, she would have qualified. So what, what the doctor did is he actually, he didn't believe in assisted suicide. And he had the right to say no. But what he actually did, which was even more important, he said, come back every week, and he would do an assessment. So every week she came back, and he, he would do a physical assessment. But what he really did is he talked to her. And what did he learn? He learned that Jeanette Hall's son was becoming a police officer. He was in uh, the police training college. And he said to her, well, wouldn't you want to see your son graduate? Wouldn't you want to see him get a job as a police officer? And she said, well, of course I would. And he said, well, we should try treatment in order to make sure that you're there for his graduation. You're there to see him become a police officer. She agreed to treatment. But you see, if he had never talked to her, he would have known that her son was being trained to be a police officer. He would have had no idea. And so, therefore, she accepted treatment. Now, she went into remission. Now, does everyone go into remission? No. But the important point is, as she said, it's now 12 years later, well, it's actually now 15 years later, if my doctor had believed in assisted suicide, I would be dead. That is the key to the whole issue here. It wasn't about her asking for it, now she gained a new right to ask for it because she already had the right to ask for it. It wasn't about her body, her choice. It was about her doctor either agreeing to cause her death or not agreeing to cause her death.